Hello everybody, today I am building Messerschmitt BF109 F4 with the Z camouflage. Photo edge parts are included in the kit and I glue them with a super glue. I apply thick gloss varnish into the dashboard holes with a brush. It should create a thin transparent membrane. I glue the individual photo edge parts together with a PVA glue. The interior is painted with German RLM 66 color. I mix the light grey shade from two colors and highlight all the details. I spray the whole cockpit with Mr. Color Super Clear Free Varnish. Then I apply the washes after the varnish dries up. Photo etched CD belts are included in the kit. I am using Tamiya Height Finish Pointed Brush to paint all small details. And here is the finished cockpit. Despite the fact that the model is very detailed, I must use party here and here too. I cover the bones with Surfacer 1000, it will help me to find all impurities. Now I start painting the aircraft. The RLM 78 color is mixed from several shades, but you can simply use Mr. Color H418. If you would like to know, I am using airbrush Harder und Stunbeck Infinity with 0.15mm nozzle and with an air pressure of 20 psi. The paint is diluted with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. I put a few drops of black paint to RLM78 and with this dark shade I create the post shading. I cover the model surface with Tamiya masking tape and with this removable party. I do not have RLM79 sand color, so I must mix my own shade from uh, several other colors. Yeah, sure, several. 
Next time I will probably buy the original Mr. Color H66, it would be much easier. Again, I create the highlights and post shading lighter and darker shades. I spray the whole model with super clear free varnish. When the varnish dries up I add the water slide decals and use Mr. Color Softer to set them properly. I spray the model with another layer of varnish. I mix my own wash from X20 thinner and Umpton oil paints. Now I simply wash out the excess wash with dry paper towel. I will try to make additional shading only with a paintbrush and oil paints. This technique is perfect if you do not have an airbrush. Now I can simply blur oil paint with a dry cotton swab.
The wheels are dusted with dry pigments from the MIG production and fixed the pigment fixer. I make small effect with dark grey color. This ultra thin fiber is made by Uschi van der Roosten and it is perfect for antenna wire. I cut out the plastic position lights and create my own ones from transparent epoxy party. In the end, I imitate some sketches with aluminium color. And with this step, the model is finished. Thank you if you have watched up to this moment, I would like to just say a few words in conclusion. The camouflage in the instruction manual is slightly different, although the original photos looked exactly as the picture from Eddard. The tiny German cross on the wing seems very strange to me and I simply missed the classic white wing tips. Instead I followed the scam from the kit in 1-3-5 scale made by Trumpeter. Even if my model doesn't reflect the reality to all the details, I enjoy building it very much. And I hope you like it too. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.